Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this under the sea themed cake. Full disclosure, my peach of a cat knocked my camera off the fridge. I thought it was all cool and filmed this video, but I realized that she may have actually damaged the lens because my camera was having a heck of a time focusing on some parts. So I do apologize for that and I will try to fix that as soon as possible. I'm starting out with two 7 inch cakes which I've cut in half and I'm going to be filling those with some Swiss meringue buttercream. I'm going to use my small offset spatula to make sure my buttercream is nice and even and once my cake is stacked up I'm going to apply a thin layer all around the outside of my cake for a crumb coat. I'm going to place that in the fridge for about 25 minutes and then once I can touch the buttercream with my finger and none of it comes off, it's ready for its final ice. I'm applying a thick layer of my buttercream all around the outside of my cake and then using my bench scraper I'm going to go along the sides to smooth them out and then with all of that buttercream that has accumulated on the top of my cake I'm going to use my small offset spatula just to drag that into the middle. putting that back in the fridge and then I'm going to start on my fondant. I've dyed my fondant this light blue color and I'm going to be rolling that out onto my work surface using some cornstarch to keep it from sticking and once I have it about an eighth of an inch thick I'm going to pick that up with my fondant roller and drape that over my chilled cake. Using my hands and my fondant smoother I'm pushing all that air out from the top of my cake and then just working down the sides pulling out the pleats in the skirt and smoothing down until I reach the bottom. I went over my cake one more time with my fondant smoother and then cut away the excess at the bottom using my pizza cutter. I'm going to be doweling this cake because I have a 5 inch tier to go on top which I've already covered in fondant. So I've got my straws that I'm spacing out evenly and then I'm going to be cutting those to size so that they're flush with the cake. After applying a smear of buttercream to help my top tier adhere better, I'm just placing that on there with a cake lifter. You could just use this blue color and keep it like it is, or you could go with a darker shade of blue, but I'm going to be mixing some sky blue and some teal food gel with some food grade alcohol, and then using a paintbrush, I'm going to go all the way around my entire cake just using this little stippling motion. I really like the texture this gives the fondant and it makes it look a little more like water, but you could do whatever you want. Once my entire cake was covered, I want that to dry. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start making some of my decorations. I'm going to put a whale on top of my cake so I have this little template I made for myself. I will link the one below that I used and I'm rolling out some more of my light blue fondant and then cutting that out with an X-Acto knife. I'm adding a little ball of black for his eye 
and I'm also rolling out some white fondant and cutting out a semicircle for his tummy. Taking some more of my white fondant, I'm rolling them out into three different sized teardrop shapes and I'm going to be inserting some floral wire into each one of those. Flipping my whale over, I'm going to place those down where I think that they're going to look good, like water's coming out of the blowhole, and I'm making sure that the wire is going onto the back of the whale, and I have this skewer that's going to help me insert this into my cake when it's done, and I'm going to hold everything in place by putting some water down and then placing another piece of blue fondant on top of that and just pressing down so that it's going to hold the wire and the skewer there. I put my whale aside to dry and then I rolled out some pink and some purple fondant and then using my X-Acto knife I cut out these circular oblong shapes and then from those I cut out a bunch of different sized circles using piping tips. Because I want them to sit out from my cake instead of laying flat against it when I attach them, I crinkled up some aluminum foil and placed those over top to dry. To make my clownfish, I rolled out some orange fondant into a skinny oval type shape and then I flattened that down and using some white fondant I rolled that out and cut it into strips and laid two of those on top of my oval and then using four circles of orange fondant I smushed those down for the fins and attached those and then to get the finny texture I just went over them with my fondant tool and then added a little black dot for the eye. To make my seahorse I rolled up some yellow fondant and then using this template that I made for myself that I'll link below I cut him out using my exacto knife. For the scales, I used the end of a piping tip to press that in and create a bunch of semicircles and then I use my fondant tool to mark in all the lines for his fins. For my crab, I had some red fondant that I rolled out into a oval shape, and then I rolled out two more little balls. I added two black dots for the eyes, and then I smushed those balls down, and I used my X-Acto knife to cut out a little wedge from each one, and then just smoothed the edges down with my fingers for his little claws and I rolled out this long skinny rope of red fondant and cut out six pieces and then tapered off the end for his legs. I wanted to start attaching some of my decorations to the cake so I just used some shortening and put them wherever I thought they looked good. adding those to my cake using some more shortening and I'm rolling out some red and some orange fondant to create some starfish and some more coral. a couple different types of coral so you can use whatever colors you like. I have purple here that I've rolled into a ball and then I'm just using the end of my fondant tool to indent a bunch of circles and I have some pink that I'm using to roll out into a long teardrop shape and then using the end of my paintbrush I'm just poking that into the top and then using my finger to kind of press that against as I turn it around to create a bigger hole if that makes sense.
create my seashells, I have this mold. I'm taking some white fondant and pressing them into each cavity and then cutting off the excess with my X-Acto knife. And then I pop this into the freezer for like five minutes. It just helps the fondant to release really easily. After I put those on the cake, I'm rolling out some different sized balls of white fondant and then trailing them up my top tier to look like bubbles. To finish off my clownfish, I'm taking my paintbrush and some black food coloring and I'm just tracing along each fin as well as either side of those white stripes. Once my whale is nice and set up, I'm going to add that to the top. And this was the final look guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.